I'm going to cover briefly a couple of different types of yeast, but first, just so you get this information, you don't click me off before I get this information out. There is a bakery quality yeast, and it's a compressed yeast. I'm not sure exactly what you would call it. It's a compressed yeast. It's pasty. It comes in a one pound block, uh, like a pound of butter would be. And the trouble is getting your hands on it. You can probably get it from a restaurant supply company or a bakery supply company. But to the best of my knowledge, it comes in a case of 24 blocks, so 24 pounds of compressed paste yeast. This bakery quality yeast, if you can get your hands on it and maybe share it with your friends, is worth the, the fuss to get your hands on it. It's worth, worth what you have to go through to get it. I did some baking tests with it uh, about 15 years ago. We used to be able to buy a pound of it at our local store, well, our local grocery store. The bakery would sell it to you. So you might want to contact your local bakery and see if they will sell it to you. They probably buy it in 24 pound boxes. But it was amazing stuff. It really was. I did side by side tests and it, uh, I'm not even sure what the equivalents are in, on it. I'm not sure how much you use compared to the regular granulated type yeast, but it would probably be the same ratio you would use for compressed yeast. You can buy the compressed yeast in the store, the smaller ones, but I don't think it's the same as this bakery quality yeast is in the one pound blocks. Uh, we did, I did side by side tests with it and the, the uh, results were just very impressive. It, it was worth, it, it rises slower, more slowly, but it was well worth the wait. If I was baking on a regular basis, which I'm not doing, well I do baking, but if I was making my bread on a regular basis, I would definitely jump through hoops to get this yeast. So check around and see if your bakery supply companies have it your restaurant supply companies, if not, contact a baker and ask them, tell them it comes in a one pound block. I, I'm pretty sure you can freeze it. You could cut it into pieces and freeze it, but I would take it a long time to use 24 pounds of it. The other types of yeast, uh, yeast obviously are the regular granulated type yeast, in a, usually sold in a one pound package, and the instant yeast, SAF type yeast, and those I am told can be mixed right into your dry ingredients. I have not done that. I've used them. I have baked with them, but I always proof my yeast first to make sure it's mixed up with some warm water and some sugar so that I can watch it foaming before I throw it in with my other ingredients. So that's the lowdown. If you can get your hands on some of that yeast, it's worth the effort. You just need to be able to figure out how to use 24 pounds of it between you and all your best friends. God bless. Have a great night. Bye. Or afternoon. Or evening. Or morning. Whatever it is. Have a good one. Bye.